This is smart. I mean, I don't know if it's gonna work out, but this is smart. I think and now he reaggresses. I should maybe shut up. <laughs> this, this is gonna be very interesting. Guys. What the fuck is Zontex doing? Guys, am I a noob or is this not the best idea to do? As you guys see, repetitiveness in in the process, it's not talked about enough. Hello, what is up gamer? In today's video, we're gonna be analyzing the last map of the Spirit Phase series. Broke his performance, 30 kills, 18 deaths. MVP of this whole series. So let's see what he did, let's see how he played. And let's learn all his secrets and plays that we can copy for our own games. All right, so it's gonna be a B push from Spirit. Flash is coming in, bullet of quad. Holding from Alec, pretty passively. Very interesting how phase are all stacked here on electric. Let's see what Brocky does in full. He has a spawn to peak ramp, I would assume he's gonna do it. Nope, he's not gonna be peaking ramp. He's gonna be going sandbag. And flashing for Frozen to peak yellow? No, he's not. I assume he's gonna peak deep ramp. Yes, he does. And Karagan was probably smoking deep yellow. Let's see how he does it, because it's also interesting. This smoke has became, new, has became a new meta on the map over here. So he lines up this corner and then just aims in this part of the window. And the smoke will land a deep yellow. Blocking of the entrance and also blocking a bit of ramp, right? Obviously it doesn't block the whole entrance, but it blocks a substantial part of ramp as well, making it easier to peek down. Right, so Brock is just peeking deep ramp with M4, which is good. I guess he's gonna farm here. Flashing for Frozen. They're not pushing on it. Okay, easy one kill. Okay, pretty easy cleanup for Frozen Brocky. Spirit had one AK on them. On a Donk, they're probably aiming for some kind of a Hail Mary. Well, their Chopper just didn't buy, just not gonna buy this round because he dropped last round for Donk. Let's see another full buy. Karigan's probably smoking again, and he does. Nading from Sandbag immediately. Mulling of Ramp. And I don't think Karigan actually smoked this round. Nope, there was... Let's see if there was any smoke. Let's see what was the utility thrown on A here. By the CTs. Oh, so only smoke inside inside yellow. That's kind of interesting as well. I wanna see it. Oh, it was thrown by... Frozen, actually. Alright, so he throws it for himself. Bounces of a flash. This is inside yellow and now gets gets the flashed in as well by Karigan. Alright. Pretty interesting take. Without any smoke towards ramp. Okay, and Brocky just cleans up with Staying on sandbag while the Karigan and Frozen were making steps that they're running back. That's probably what baited Chopper in. Okay, now Brocky starts on on B. He's an opera, so he's generally playing rotation, so he can start wherever he wants to or wherever the team requires him to. Generally, it's gonna be Karigan and Frozen who play A dedicated. Usually, guys in in Pro CS, it's gonna be three players on A, two like kind of like short, which is Frozen, and a Crane player, which is Karigan, and then. Brokey is kind of floating with the op, sometimes picking bees, sometimes picking grams, sometimes switching positions. They really seem to want to take control of beasters in this round a lot. Okay, pretty nice. I think he was half strafing here with the last shot. Yeah. Ah, but it works. Good bait for rain. Now he repositions towards mid. Looks like Spirit wanted to do a B split. And a nice spam. There's gonna be a comeback here. We all know that. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm not spoiling it for you guys. So Brocky starts B again. 
And I think, yeah, Rob's got into mid. It's also quite interesting. Let's see what he did to get into here. He starts off by flashing. And just pushes through. Well, fair enough. Don't think Mag spotted him at all. Or no, they spotted him. Chopper expects it. Spirit is playing very passively. For some reason. They don't take much ramp control. They don't really take control of anything. I'm not a fan of that kind of playstyle. And Brock is rotating to over towards I know. Flashes over the top to support Carrigan, who's quite quite in an open position. So the fact that Carrigan is there on the wall, right? It it forces the T's to move faster and they can get spawned by the by Brokey and uh, Frozen, who are spamming the smokes, right? If Carrigan wasn't here, they could have waited a bit more and they could have chilled while they're spamming. But the fact that Carrigan is here forces them to push, and that way, Frozen and Brokey can just spam, and they know that the T's are gonna be pushing Carrigan, who's in the open position, right? So it kind of sets them up to be able to spam and get a lot of damage. Okay, starting from Sandbag. Throwing utility towards ramp. Flashing for Frozen, I believe. Frozen is dancing in his own smoke. And now they're leaving ramp. Well, my bet is when you leave ramp, you usually lose rounds. So let's see what happens. So Spirit looks like they're creeping up towards towards A here, but they don't have utility to execute. They only have two smokes, Zontix and Shira. So that might actually be a win for for face. Karangagan gets a kill again in yellow. Another one. Oh no, Brokey. What's going on here? Ah, he's jumping up because they're occupied with Karagan in short and also Frozen is spamming, so they wouldn't expect him. Alright, looks like FaZe is doing amazingly well in the beginning of this match, of this map. So what you're gonna see guys is common theme of Oppers kind of floating around the map, running around, throwing util, dropping some util here and there. This is pretty popular playstyle for an Oper. Okay, is under stairs. I think he mollied like that, so they don't think Rain is there. Honestly, is what would be the other reason. Oh. Okay. So as you can see, guys, Brokey is spraying in the body. He doesn't care about headshots. He's just spraying down the body. So it became pretty popular to just spray in the body now with an AK. I mean, it was always popular. It was just uh, a playstyle that Nico or Scream or people like that didn't do. Well, if you're just not feeling super confident that you're gonna hit the headshot, why go for it if you can spray the body? And it's almost the same result. Well, this is a retake scenario. Brokey goes like super aggressive because he's only seven HP and he's supposed to serve as a bait, but Chopper or Shiro don't hit at least one hit on, on him. Which is super surprising. How did Chopper not hit like at least one bullet on him? Come on. I mean, I know it's like a stressful situation, but... Oh no. This could have been different. Okay, so Brax is just jiggling here. It seems like... FaZe stopped taking a ramp after they took it multiple times like aggressively, they just stopped taking it. This might be a strat that, they, that they've implemented towards later parts of the round, of the, of the of the city half, I mean. Because they've already took ramp multiple times, so now they're like playing passive, thinking that Spirit is gonna expect them to play aggro and gonna slow down anyways, right? Which is kind of working, because Spirit is not fast. 
Who is chilling? And again, they're just exchanging util and spams. This is basically how Vertigo works, if you don't have ramp control. But yeah, Spirit finally have had util to actually execute. So I would assume that FaZe being as smart as they are, now they fight very heavily for ramp. And do they? I think they do. Maybe they don't. So Rocky was trying to peek. Pick short. I mean, this is this is also enough. Like they just done util. Broki has control of short. Looks fine. And I think Spirit predicted the weakness on B. Although, how did they even play on B? Let's see how Rain played this. Did he play this like super passive? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So he played like kind of retake already because they were free on A. Yep. Oh, see the flashes. Okay, this is a support flash, guys, that you can use. It pops above electric, I believe. Oh, Rocky fucked it up. Molly default that they also fucked up, and Molly rain. Oh no. Oh no, Carrigan, you killed rain. I mean, this is the highest pressure situation it can ever be, right? Major quarterfinals versus the best team in the world, second team, second best team. I mean, Obviously, they're gonna miss nades. Sometimes. Oh, smoking sandbags. What the hell is that? Why did he do that? Maybe he wanted to throw a molly. I swear to god that they're missing all their util. No way he wanted to actually smoke sandbag. God damn it. There's a lot of stress here on the server. Let's see how this rate expands out. I mean they need that smoke. I'm not saying anything, but need they need that smoke for the bomb now. Damn. Not fun, not fun for Brokey. Gonna be trying to flash for Kargan. Oh, this is amazing flash. It's gonna work. Ah, yeah, yeah, the timing. Don't kind of beat the timing. He peeks Kargan before the flash. Now he also knows that Brocky was here. Oh. Frozen with the M4. I guess it's just safe. Here we go again, gonna probably start from the sandbox again. As you guys see, repetitiveness in in the pro CS, it's not talked about enough. It's really not talked about enough. You, you see all these highlights, you see all these clips, but it's let, literally they're doing the same thing over and over and there's just different results because of the, of the different things the other team does, right? On city sites, it's just routine, routine, routine. Just switching it up slightly. So, for example, now Carrigan and Frozen boost, right? Although it's very interesting boost as well. Oh, this is just a default boost. But Carrigan positions himself in a way where he's not like super exposed to short, so it's good. Also, Frozen is not standing there like passively. He's standing up and crouching once in a while to not get caught. Like was looking for that timing, I believe. What's Brokey doing? Oh, Brokey's just chilling headshot. Oop, they heard Brokey. No, maybe they didn't? Oop, Chopper gets caught. And he kills Rain? Oh my god, this is unfortunate. 1v2 with Chopper being low, come on. 
Why is Zontix running B? 12 seconds. He's not gonna get it. Oh my god. He's still still running B. No. Oh, a lot of stress here. I can feel, even though I'm watching the replay, I can feel the stress by by seeing what they do. Like, I can really literally feel it. Okay, I did full take contact, they clean, cleared ramp, now they're gonna go back to B. And Drops is lurking out mid while they're doing the contact play. He hears everything as well. I mean, Chopper is gonna surely clear him, but just loses the fight. And now Donk loses the fight as well. There you go. So the strat was Robs is going mid, lurking mid, listening for rotations, and they're just faking A contact. Really good strat, you can use it in your packs, guys. Just say like, guys go contact A and then go back. I'm gonna lurk out mid. Or go rush A and then go fake A and then go back, you can say that to your teammates. Nading sandbags, pretty default play. Was that smog thrown by rain? I swear to god. I think it was. Rocky rain. Oh, rain does it. Top of the arrow. Just to block of the, the vision from top ramp. Now he's gonna be taking control of yellow wow this is not an advantageous trade I get this this is a flash towards B to flash frozen out or at least to fake some presence as Bro Brokey's job is just uh, playing the clutches, it's not like he's not doing any entrying or anything like that. Just chilling in the back. Usually that's the opera's job. And then you see the like the, the frags, right? That you see the opera stop fragging. But and then you can say like oh they're baiting, they're baiting, but it's actually not that easy to to be in those passive situations and know when to flash, when to push, when to hold for your teammates, right? You have to be smart about like seeing what your teammates are doing, how to support them the best, right? It's not like a random guy can just play like opera role, be passive and get like top frag every single game. Of course, it's less contact in the early stages of the round, in the most dangerous stages. Uh, like Rain, for example, is obviously going first in, uh, going entering and sometimes even dying and getting traded. But it's not like super easy to be an opera. Don't think like because, because he's an opera, he's top fragging. Smoke left side of sight. Molly headshot, I assume. Yes. And it just looks like a default execute. Gonna be close. Oh, oh, that's a nice shot from Doug. Let's see Frozen POV. <laughs> this is gonna be very interesting. Guys. <clears throat> oh, this is the smoke. This is interesting. This is gonna be right side of sight. Oh, Brock is searching for something that doesn't exist. He's creating smokes on the fly, guys.
and they're contacting up A. This is a pretty common strat in higher elo CS as well. Just chill on the map and then contact up A ramp when they already used all the U2 to block you off. Feel free to use it yourselves. Molofer. Sandbags, which he missed. Swear to God, Broke is not the best with U2. And flashing. Again, missed. I think. No. No, this is not missed. This is how it's supposed to be. Oh, they were boosted, and Karigan gets a double. Well, that's what you get when you're getting boosted late. This is a pretty good setup from... Oh, Rob's just for a molly that's mollying short. I'm gonna show you this molly, guys, so you can learn. If you want to throw it for your teammates to take late, eh? Gonna go on top of the railing here and jump throw. And Doc is getting a kill from here. No, it's not. Brocky slaps him. Oh my god, this looks like a, such a good round for for face. And Frozen is going from short before. Look look at this guys, look at this positioning. Frozen is gonna go from short before they're even up ramp, like close. And that way he, he gets an isolated 1v1 duel versus Magic, see? He's going solo. They're not ready to refrag him. So the refrag on Magix comes so late that. Very interesting. Again, flashing B. A lot of sandbags. So pretty st standard setup. Again, they're just taking uh, control of ramp, right? It's the same thing over and over. It's just the different positions they're gonna meet. Again boost? No, don't tell me they're boosting again, come on. Some weird setup. What the hell was this setup about? What is this? Why is Zontix? What the fuck is Zontix doing? Guys, am I a noob or is this not the best idea to do? Zontix is anti-flash, obviously. Yeah, I understand that. But, like... Like, there, nobody's holding shorts. Is this supposed to happen? Very interesting. Okay, I trash with flashes. I think the smoke sandbox was thrown by the CTs to fake. This is gonna be smart if this happens. If the CTs thrown a smoke here to fake. Is Zontix gonna throw a smoke? No, the T's throw a smoke here. What? Who's throwing a smoke sandbags and why? Can you explain this to me. Oh, Robs has thrown it. Okay. So he goes in the corner. And he's there and flashes. Ramp. Okay, so he's supporting the ramp push. And it's actually good due to the support, but... It's just very interesting that they smoke sandbags. I don't know... The idea of the strat, but well... I guess if someone would be stand sandbags with an M4, the the way the strat would work, he would get smoked off and it would force him to play like kind of out of sandbags or at least stay on sandbags, which is advantageous to the pistols because they can get close range. Okay, finally Brox is gonna find this smoke. He found the dot. Did he? I think he did. Is this some kind of- this is a B, like, the execute slash strat. Holy fuck, people forgetting lineups in the major quarterfinal. I mean, I don't blame them, because there's a lot of things to remember, plus it's a lot of stress, but... This is just fun. 
I know there would be people who would say, oh my god, this is not acceptable, but I don't think so. I think, like, people forget shit normally, anyways. Obviously, like, Carrigan wouldn't probably forget because he's creating those lineups. But Broki, Broki's here to shoot headshots. And all flicks. The, they're waiting for super long with this. Okay, so this is this smoke, and they couple it up with a molly to cut off rotation. Understood now. Now I understand what's going on. And the flashes as well for B stars. So this is like a B contact slash execute play. Doesn't work very well. I would recommend FaZe try some default map control on RAM. Let's see. They're going for a B play again. Ooh, nice shot from Broken. Hey, this looks like possible. No, Zontix cleans up. Is this a lot of patience? Frozen and Broki are just waiting while Mr. Carrigan and Rain are taking ramp control. So this is a design play where Carrigan and Rain are taking map control and Broki and Broki and Drops. No, Broki and Frozen are just waiting to take over B. Doesn't work too well. I think FaZe started overthinking too much and faking and doing weird stuff, right? As you guys can see, they're not playing default map control. They're not like taking control of ramp and then executing A. I know it's obvious, but it's also a default meta for a reason. Yeah, this is actually smart from Broki. He can get a kill from this easily. Oh, that's so close. Oh no. He got distracted by the molly from Chopper. Nah. Again, the smoke. With the mysterious smoke. Is this gonna work now? No, now it's like kind of a fake for drops to go out mid with Rain. And Rain gets the kill mid. It seems like mid is weak for Spirit, like Chopper is dying there all the time. The same was in Pistol when Robs went out. Oh, what's this lineup? Or Quad, but he misses it. Brocky, what the fuck are you doing with you? <laughs> You're missing every Uto. I mean... I guess he's not gonna miss a shot. Oh my god. Yes. Good job. Let's go, Mr. Boldman. Nice show. They were kind of slow on the push. Like, they thrown the util, and now they're slowing down. I fear they were waiting for Rain to do something, honestly. Like, usually when you're that slow, this is not working out, but because of rain, or of rain going behind them on mid, this works out pretty well. And again, he's gonna start sandbags, and then again, he's gonna probably nade. Yeah, no, he doesn't, because Frozen doesn't hear anything running close. And he mollies, and he's just gonna peek it, I guess, with Karigan? No, he doesn't. Another molly that could drop by Carrigan, so they're delaying the push. Now he flashes for himself, actually. Nading left side of... of uh, the box. And falling back. Oh, what is the smoke? Is this a re-smoke for Frozen? Yes, it is. Maybe not the best one. Maybe again he missed. I think he fucking missed again. I swear to god. I don't know, actually. Maybe missed, maybe not. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. But Frozen doesn't look like he expects that smoke to be like that. Guys, I wanted to le learn lineups from Broki, but it's not possible for some reason. But I'm not shitting on him, because he's 27 kills in the quarterfinal of a major. He sure can shoot. Hey, lurking in the smoke. Ooh. Nice peek. 
nading. Doing his usual stuff and kind of floating around because ramp was not contested heavily by spirit. So the the thing you guys can take away from this for your games is you can start sandbags every round, just play around there. And then if your teammates are staying, like Rain and Shorts, you can just rotate over uh, towards B or towards mid. If you're playing the rotation role in your pack, let's say you play like I play rotation on A, you say that in the start of the game, you see that two of your other teammates are playing A, you can do the the same moves as as Broke is doing. But let's actually see what happened here. Did he just get spammed for a smoke or? Yeah, that's why that's why I wasn't commenting on this. Wait, is Rain winning this? He's not. But he's winning the next round. We all know that. <laughs> again, the molly by Brokey, and again floating back. Pretty much the same pattern that, that he's using. Now he breaks the pattern and re aggresses in the middle of the round. See, guys, this is smart. I mean, I don't know if it's gonna work out, but this is smart. He was playing super passive all the time, going back to B, going back to side. They weren't contesting, and now he re aggresses. Okay, don't don't he's ready. <laughs> I should maybe shut up. <laughs> Let's see the clutch, let's see the clutch. Let's see Mr. Rain, Mr. Rain. Alright, so he's he knows about Zontix. Zontix peaks too early with an aid. I mean Shiro had to plan that the, the time is glitched here. He actually had to come and plant. And now he pushes him and guys, look at this peak. He literally needs to flick over half of the screen for him. And he still manages to do that and Shiro misses. Let's see Shiro, Shiro's POV. Because honestly, I think Shiro lived here. Yeah, Shiro. Fuck. I mean, I understand this, but... I think the reason Shiro missed is because he was moving with W and D at the same time, right? Like, surely he was moving, like, sideways, right? No, not sideways, like... Yeah. But at the same time, he couldn't, like, just expect the fact that... Uh, he couldn't, like, immediately strafe out into him. Because he didn't expect Rain to stay in the position. Obviously, after killing Zontix, Rain would have peaked out, right? So Shiro was kind of expect. This is a hard scenario to kind of judge. It's unfortunate, but the misses come from the movement, right? He couldn't really move like pre-aim Rain because he he didn't know if Rain is gonna stay or if Rain is gonna swing out into him, right? And Rain kind of stayed, kind of swung out a bit, and then just rugged the spray. All right, guys, there you have it. The last map, Phase versus Spirit. Hope you learned that that playing ramp is not always about playing passive. It's not always about playing aggro, you need to kind of switch between those two. As you can see, Brocky was starting on sandbags. If you're playing a pack game, you don't really need to always be super passive and floating back. You can more often fight for for ramp. You can always switch around and go yellow sometimes. But yeah, this was a fun match. This was probably one of the best matches in recent history of CS2. And well, hope you enjoyed uh, the analysis. I mean, kind of a review slash analysis. And I'm not gonna talk anymore. I'm gonna. Wish you guys have a nice day, good luck in your games, hope you learned some stuff and peace.